the unicorns gone into the flowering moment of dawn. Lynn Reichley and her second grade students are about to begin a writing adventure. And aren't her words just wonderful? Developed at Columbia University, the framework Ms. Reichley uses is called the Writer's Workshop. She just didn't say that it just went to a flower, did she? <laughs> no, to a valley of flowers. The tight link between reading and writing in this program appeals to the principal, Dr. Ann McClellan. The reason we chose our writing program is there's research out there that says we need to make writing real for the kids and um, also to use best models. And we thought, why not connect the reading and writing, which is what the research says, and, and showcase the author's voice through wonderful pieces of literature. I would like to get some suggestions of what you are going to begin with today. Lila? Where do leaves go when they blow away? Yeah, where do they go? Zach? The endless animals. Rebecca? Where do shells go in the ocean? Not all That's teachers present writing as explicitly as Ms. Reichley. A lot of teachers were not teaching writing. We began to investigate the few teachers that were, and we saw not only were their children better writers, but they were also better readers. It's now time to move from planning to the next stage of writing, drafting. The kids fan out and begin their own stories. Most kids work alone, but Ms. Reichley is always available to help and to introduce them to the next critical step of writing, revising. I need it. How could it leave me in shame? Although I know there's no one to blame. Just like that. The seasons went by. Bye-bye spring. Adios summer. That's a bummer. Where do the bees run? Okay. Eager to leave the deadly hum of silence. Past cities of ways. Soaring in the air. Past yesterday's cry of the rooster. Past opposites of colors. Even though you repeated the word past a lot, it didn't make me want to stop hearing it. So that's good. I like that. It just put an exciting touch to it, I yeah. think. Ms. Reichley arms her students with powerful guidelines for editing, the final stage of writing. We're not going to use tired words, right? And you, you can, you know what some of the tired words are, right? Mm -hmm. Jessica? Pretty. Pretty. What else? Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's where the literature comes in also. Uh, the, these books are filled with beautiful language and sophisticated words. Opposites. And that also helps them to figure out another way to say it. What if we need to use the tired words? If you, used to, if you need to use a tired word, I want you to think real hard another way you can say it. We'll try to share For the kids, the finished, best part of Writer's Workshop is sharing their stories. And research shows that peer discussion helps them become better writers, too. Did you circle your favorite line? Circle your yeah. favorite line. Your favorite one so far. Where does time go? It goes into yesterday and then tomorrow. And then it goes into today. Where does time go? It ticks away in the day. Where do shells go? In the deep ocean blue, in the bumpy, lumpy sand. Where do shells go? Where have the Pegasus gone? Writing is grueling for many children, but Writer's Workshop makes it easier. With a structured approach and a gifted teacher like Ms. Reichley, these children are developing their skills and even discovering that writing can be fun. I, I think how this helps the children, it makes them become lifelong writers. It makes them comfortable. They have no inhibitions about writing. These students are preparing for the challenges ahead, gaining the power to write their own happy endings.